Hey everybody, it's Ryan here from Android Coliseum. In this time of Corona, you are going to probably going to be spending some time at home, and in doing so, you're going to want to have a good laptop or something to help pass the time. This is the LG Gram. I had this the other day and been using it for a little bit here, and I'm I'm liking it, except that it's a really big laptop, and well, the, the top end spec it has at twenty two hundred dollars, because it's so big, just give in the body. I can really press in on that and then I can really press in on these so it, I wish it was a little sturdier. Outside of that, let me take a look what do we have here. This is the i7. This is a 17 inch monitor. This is huge monitor. Uh, so much bigger than the pixel book I have here which can fit just there. So it's huge. Because it's so big, it has even a numpad on the side here for you to do that. Uh, in terms of other connections we have, we have uh, HDMI, USB, USB-C, and their proprietary plug. It does use a proprietary plug for power, but you can use USB-C power delivery through that, which is really handy for me. That's what I have set up in my house. On the other side, we have your headphone connector, micro SD slot, two more USBs, and the locking mechanism there. On the bottom of it here, we have the speakers facing on. It's got a bit of a bump here for it to, uh, so it's not right on the ground, so it kind of fires out a bit to the side, so it uses that angle there. All right, let's turn it on. So one of the nice things you'll notice about it is it does have a fingerprint sensor, so automatically, just press it, you're logged in right on the power button. Um, this is the i7 processor with 16 gigs of RAM. It's got a 512 solid state drive on there. And for the most part, everything I used was just fine. Uh, it's so big, it has a huge battery that it says it's 19 and a half hours. I would find probably average use person about 10 hours. Um, I did some sort of just measuring and I would probably assume 10 hours now depending maybe as it gets lower it would last longer I'm not sure well I'd have to put longer testing into it um, but it's just big it's really hard to want to take this thing anywhere it's so big it's thin for how big it is but it's just so big that I had problems trying to fit it into my messenger bag even it was pretty tight fit so that is not ideal for me for me. But setting it up at home on the desk, great. If I'm going upstairs, putting it on the coffee table, great. Taking it to the coffee shop, once the coffee shops are back open, great. Um, yeah, in terms of like full snappy, you know, starting to play some like Fortnite or, or Stadia games, it wasn't great. Now the Wi-Fi here in my office isn't great. We are still in lockdown at the office here. Um, but I'm here. The Wi Fi isn't great. Um, loads up seems to be fine. I found a little bit slow in some of the response versus some uh, a specific gaming rig, but still more than enough than you would need. And then watching YouTube, watching Netflix, just perfect. So, pretty responsive automatically. Uh, oh, come on, get out of there. So, it did, does pretty good here. Let's exit out of the game here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exit out. Control W. I always forget how to get out of the Stadia. Control Q. Anyways. Ah. Close window. Uh, the trackpad itself is pretty good. It uses, you can do the three up to do all those kind of fun things. Um, right click is around here. So outside of that, it's been pretty good device. I loved it for uh, you know using it as a workstation. 
the display is phenomenal. Um, so I really like that. And the battery's been really great. I just wish it was snappier if I was going to play games on it. So some of the heavier games I would probably wouldn't play. You know, Fortnite, I needed to scale back the resolution so I couldn't have it in full res, but did it just fine. Um, yeah, uh, the sound is pretty good. Nothing fantastic as well. So if you're looking for a laptop that's not quite a portable laptop, like you want something a little more stay at homey, this might be the guy to do it. And I like using the adapter out to plug it into my uh, monitor and have two really nice big screens. Okay, I'll have a full write-up on the website. If you have any questions, just reach out. Thanks, folks.